uh, more about a new box or scientific box. Let's see, this is a booklet. Uh, the title is Understanding the Sea. Notice also the, uh, the beautiful uh, picture here. As colorful uh, sponges and animals, notice that as flowers, notice that. This is um, sea animals. Uh, Understanding the Sea by Dennis Sanderson, illustrated by Sin Miller. Uh, let's read certain pages uh, exploring the sea. A great era of exploration is now well underway. Men have reached the moon and may soon be traveling to other planets, but did you know that almost three quarters of our uh, own planet is still unexplored? Nearly three quarters of our world is covered by seas and oceans, and we are only just beginning to explore this world of the seas. In 1960, the um, uh, Bathyscaphe um, uh, Trieste uh, descended to 11,000 meters, equal uh, 35,800 foot. The bottom of the deepest part of the Pacific Ocean, the Mariana Trench, near the Philippine Islands, and the invention of aqua lung has enabled uh, divers to begin exploring the more shallow parts of the sea. However, it is not only in the deep oceans that new discoveries are being made. The shallow waters of the seashore also offer opportunities for discovery. Much is still to be learned about these levels and the habits of many of the communist sea creatures. Every loud tide uh, on a rocky shore will reveal animals more strange than any to be found on land. Some have developed methods of hunting, killing, and eating, which no land animal has ever used. It would be quiet wrong to think that scientists have learned all that there is to learn about these creatures. Since there are too few scientists available for the study of the seashore, this book will help you to make some discoveries of uh, your own. Notice this picture. The water planet, this is how the Earth would appear uh, to astronauts passing over the Pacific. Uh, notice the uh, animals and the uh, classification of animals also. Animal life of the sea. All animal life can be classified into groups called phyla. One group is called a phylum, and all the animals in a single phylum have a basic similar similarity of pattern. All phyla are to be found in the sea, and ten of the most important ones are shown in the picture below, as shown here. The protozoa are simple one celled animals which can be seen only under a microscope. They are an important source of food. For many larger creatures, sponges belong uh, to the uh, porphyra, meaning uh, pore eating. They draw water in through their pores and filter food from it. Jellyfish and sea um, anemones are all um, cylindrates, meaning hollow gut. Although differing in their habits, they have the same body plan, the sea urchins and starfish are the um, uh, echinoderms or uh, hidog, hidog skinned animals. Although they seem different from each other, they too have a similar plan. Of the 22 animal phyla, 10 uh, are uh, worm-like. The most important marine worms, worms uh, are the uh, annelids, Latin rings, whose bodies are divided into a series of compartments. The arthropods, um, meaning joint legs, include creatures as different in appearance uh, as lobsters and uh, branchials, 
the mollusk or the notice the uh, molluscus also two differ widely most of them such as willex or mussels uh, have shells but octopuses uh, and squids are also mollusks all these animals are completely without re uh, real bones uh, we call them invertebrates in the sea only the fish um, a few mammals and some marine reptiles uh, have true skeletons they are the vertebrates Uh, plankton and food chains. Plankton is the name given to the microscopic animal and plants which drift in millions through the upper layers of the sea. The name comes from a Greek word meaning wanderers. They are um, a, 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 a play uh, named for, for although they are unable to swim of their own accord, they um, may drift for hundreds of kilometers on the current and tides. The tiny plants are called phytoplankton. They live by absorbing chemicals from the sea. Like all plants, they are able to use energy from sunlight in order to convert chemicals into food. This process is called photosynthesis. It is something that only plants can do. The phytoplankton are eaten by tiny creatures called zooplankton. These, in turn, are the main food supply for many small fish like the herring. Um, in their turn, the herring uh, are eaten by larger fish. This is called a food chain. Notice that. Um, eventually, uh, it ends at a very large fish such as the shark. No other creature eats the shark. When the shark dies, its body decays and the chemicals from it are retained to the water. These are again absorbed by the phytoplankton and the chain starts again. Without uh, the phytoplankton's ability to absorb chemicals, the chain would be incomplete and no animal life would be able to exist. In the sea. That is why these tiny plants are sometimes called the grass of the sea. Seasons and the sea. The countless millions of creatures which die every year provide a vast uh, store of chemicals near the bottom of the sea during the summer, the winter. Uh, the water near the surface becomes warmed, but the deep earth remains cold. The boundary between the warm and cold layers is quite distinct and is called thermocline. The great store of chemicals is troubled below it. In the winter, gales, however, churn up the sea, breaking the thermocline uh, and bringing the stored chemicals to the surface, although this food is um, now available to the phytoplankton. The weak sunlight does not have sufficient energy to enable them to make use of it. The coming of spring bring sunnier days and the phytoplankton suddenly increase using the chemicals and sunlight fish and other creature, uh, creatures begin to spawn and their young join uh, the zooplankton in millions. To take only one example, when turbot alone may lay anything from 5 to 10 million eggs. The, the nearly hatch, uh, hatched fish feed on the plankton nearby, which in consequence is quickly used up and by the end of spring has reached its lowest limit, lacking food and falling prey to young uh, jellyfish, crabs, etc. The millions of young turbot uh, will have been reduced to about 20. Summer comes and the surface of the sea warms up again, trapping the nutritious uh, chemicals below the thermocline where they will remain stored until the winter gales or currents such as the um, home belt current of South America bring them to the surface and the cycle begins again as shown here. Summer, notice that. 
warm water, thermal clean and cold water. Notice that plankton and chemicals accumulate. Notice the winter here. Storms break the thermal clean and chemicals brought to the surface and spring sunlight, chemicals um, swing and thermocline and larva eat plankton and plankton multiply. Notice that. Spring tides and neap tides. Notice that. And spring tides, sun and moon. This, uh, notice that. Um, 